most of the internet today, where young people who, and uh, opinion leaders who look at it, it's filled with anti-Israel rhetoric, and there's very little pro-Israel, because Israel has never yet come out and done a correct job of um, putting out what they stand for. Recently, a country, for example, may name us, was talking about recognizing uh, the Palestinian state. The Swedish uh, government. Um, and the fact is, I said, what's happened? What happened is, over the years, dozens of different groups from um, Palestinians have come there, spoken with people, and said, this is our problem, this is what's happening, this is what we stand for. And yet, almost no Israelis have come up there and spoken. Right now, most countries have a whole direction, a whole thing of putting out information. As we say, as you say in Israel, Hasbara. There is not that type of thing today in Israel. It's extremely important. We in the World Jewish Congress do it to try to explain, but we can't do it as well as Israel could. And it's something that happens. Do you feel, uh, Mr. Lauder, that maybe Israel should rectify its policy? If Israel changed its policy, and I'm not saying it should, there would still be the same negative things because they are trying to, de trying to look at Israel and make it into something that is wrong, that's happening. It has nothing to do with the policy. They say, look, if you stop settlements and you stop doing things in East Jerusalem, what will happen? They'll find something else. It's not really that question. The real question is, and I'm not talking about Israeli policy, the real question is Israel must give out a message about being the democracy. I'm here today because of the um, Israel Allies Foundation and the, and the, Christian, um, the Christian Jerusalem Embassy Program. This is a program where you have evangelicals coming who believe in Israel, who are the real key factors in the world, talking for Israel, Christians. It's important. What's happened is they believe in Israel. Um, we must do everything we can to find groups like this and start working with them much closer. Uh, do you think, uh, Mr. Lauder, that we could uh, rely upon the support of the evangelicals? Absolutely, we can believe, because they believe in Israel, they believe in Jerusalem, they believe in, in, the, in the Jewish state here. And the fact is that today they're one of the few groups who are universally for us, for Israel, for what's standing. And as Jews throughout the world, we need allies. The UN is a place where Israel is constantly attacked. What's interesting for me is to look and see what is happening with Christians. Christians are being massacred all throughout the Middle East. Whole Christian communities are being destroyed. And what do we hear in the UN? Nothing. What we or the Israeli leadership should do in order to correct this situation? I believe that it's important to start to spend more money, more effort in the media, particularly on the internet. I used the example one time that if Israel had one less plane and used that money for Hasbara, it would make a world of difference. Right now, um, it's interesting, several moderate states uh, in, the, in the Middle East, who were potentially Israel's enemies in the past, have come out and said, look, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. The fact is that you have Saudi Arabia and the Emirates and Jordan looking at Israel and saying, this is a country that at least can... Are they potential allies of Israel, in your opinion? They are potential allies of Israel. I would say many moderates in the Middle East, all the moderates in the Middle East, our allies, and I think that if there was any type of a peace treaty uh, between Israel and the Palestinians, you'd have other countries joining in. Uh, do you believe, uh, Mr. Lauder, that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is doing a good job in the UN or in the US Congress, in the media? How do you feel about it? I will say that I was in the UN when Prime Minister Netanyahu gave his speech. It was a brilliant speech. 
It was a speech talking about peace. It was talked about Iran and what, it, what came out. It talked about all the different issues there. He is, he is probably the best communicator that Israel has on this issue. But what's happened is that the whole area, he himself is competing against a whole network of Palestinian and um, different groups, Arab groups, fighting against Israel, and they're spending tens of millions, if not billions of dollars on this, and Israel is spending very little. There's only so much one man can do against that. Now, also, Israel has its own internal politics, which I don't think, I think it's pretty unique now in the world. And these, uh, these, uh, these politics are hurting Israel from within. The domestic politics. Domestic politics are hurting within. Why, the, why it's hurting Israel? Because they see different fights within the government. Well, this is a democracy. I understand that, but you're asking the question, and the question is, there has to be one voice coming out of what Israel stands for. Right now, you have many different voices coming out, and you know very much by your question, I understand where you're coming from, and the fact is each person comes from a different point of view. It's great internally, but externally there has to be one voice, and that's the problem that I see also, because people are saying, well, let's wait for a different change of government, we'll get a better deal, or let's do this and that. It doesn't work. It works when you have one person th that is behind, and the whole country is behind that person. Interestingly enough, during the beginning of the war with Gaza, I use the word war, the country was completely behind uh, the prime minister. And I think that was a very special time, and we understood, and everyone understood that. Um, the fact is that if Whenever there is a prime, who's ever in charge, um, that is the person who has to feel that the country is behind him. And there's many different areas we can look at. And, and I'm sure at dinner, you can have five different opinions of what should be done. But the real aspect is the danger for Israel is from within, not from without. And, it, and Israel has to be more united much more united behind what they believe in. There can be different agreements, but when it comes to the working with the outside world, there must be one voice, and that's the hard thing. Last question, Mr. Lauder. What do you think about uh, President Obama and its attitude to, to the state of Israel? I have one policy outside of the United States. I do not comment about the American administration. Ask me the same question in, in New York, and I'll give you, I'll give you an answer.